Okay, this is the RDM test equipment uh, CF200i incline plane friction tester. Um, it's a simple um, device for measuring the static friction of flexible films like so, um, or carton board, um, or other sheet materials that you wish to measure the static friction, so um, the initial sliding friction. The instrument will give you values for the sliding angle and also the tangent of that angle, which gives you your coefficient of static friction, generally measured in a value between zero and one, where a value closer to zero is a slippy material and a value closer to one is a stickier material. OK, so let's load up our first sample. So that's our base material. And on the sled, which comes with the machine, this is a standard 200 gram, the ASTM standard 200 gram sled, but you can choose an alternative sled if you'd rather, um, or you can have your own special size made up if you like. We just load that in there. As I uh, load the sled onto the machine, uh, the start button on the touch screen here becomes active. Um, so at the moment, if I press start, nothing will happen. And as soon as I put the sled down, it sees the sled and we can start the test. Um, the incline plane uh, base starts to rise and the angle at which the sled slides is measured. And in this case, it was 17.3 degrees, which resolves to a static friction value of 0.311. Um, at the end of the test, the, the bed just comes back down to the horizontal level. There's a spirit level on the back here to uh, check that everything is level. And we can just change the sample for the next one. Actually, it's easier to do with that closed. loaded and not forgetting to change the base sample as well. I've got another sample here. This time I'm doing it on the other side of the material. Load that in and hit the start button again. So you can see the value on there, uh, the static friction value of 0.246. Okay. So once I've um, got some results on here, the, the touch screen will automatically record all of the results um, and it will store, well I say all of the results, it'll store up to 200 of the results. Um, I've currently just got two, in fact I've got three of 200 showing on there. Um, at any time I want to, I can just download them onto a flash drive. So if I just place the flash drive in the machine, put it in the right way around, and press the button that says download results. That's just put it down and cre it's created a CSV on the flash drive uh, with the results. So it, the results show date, time, and the angle and the tangent, um, or the static friction value. Um, and the counter is reset to zero. Um, so that's ready to uh, start the next batch of testing.